I might talk to Penny, because she has a one where you just have to kill... My people. name's Penny. I just got here to Wizard City, and I don't know what's going on. Nothing is like they said it would be. My parents told me all about how nice Professor Malastair was when they came here, and how I'd really enjoy his classes. I came here, and he's gone. No one knows what happened to him, and even the whole deck classroom is missing. There's just floating rubble. My application somehow got lost, and I don't know who to talk to next. Could you go ask the registrar, Mr. Lincoln, what happened to my paperwork? Okay. I guess this is going to be side quest. Side quest? Because we need to go talk to Mr. Lincoln. We'll quickly do that. What's up, Lincoln? What's that? Hmm. No, I don't see any young student named Penny Dreadful in my books. Her registration must not have been processed. You should speak to Headmaster Ambrose to see what can be done. Oh my good. Okay, what does Lincoln sell, actually? Oh, it, he has the buyback thing. Okay. So at level 12, you can buy back your training points that you have spent on classes and stuff. You lose the spells, but you do that. So. That's always fun. Let's go talk to this guy. Young Penny Dreadful of the Marleybone Dreadfuls? Oh dear, that poor girl. Let me look around and see if it got misplaced. Headmaster Ambrose rummages through one of the many piles of paper in his office. Here it is. Her application got shuffled into a stack of other paperwork. I wonder if Gamma misplaced it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Please go and tell young Penny that we have her application and everything is in order. Explain that I offer my sincere apologies for the confusion. If there's anything else you can do for her, I'd be most appreciative. Her parents were both students here long ago, and we remember them fondly. It's just that Penny's arrival comes at an unfortunate time. Okay, let's go talk to Penny. Let's go talk to this is a talking fetch quest. Which I love. Okay. Penny, 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 Penny. What's they up, Penny? Found my paperwork. Oh, thank you so much. No I problem. won't forget how helpful you've been. I'll see you in class. I'll see you in class. Hello, wizard. Thanks again for your help earlier. I'm enrolled in classes at the death school now. There's no classroom or teacher, so I'm doing an independent study. I need to write a report about different types of undead, and I don't know the first things about them. Could you help me with it? Could you draw different types of undead in Wizard City and let me know everything you can? Here are worksheets with the information I need. Just fill them out after each jewel. Thanks. See, that's why I accepted it, because, you know, we're going to have to do it. So, okay, Lady Black Hope, let's go. Okay, here we are, Lady Black Hope, right? This is the place. This is the place. Let's go attack her. Attack her. Mere mortals should not dabble in the affairs of the undead. Perish now, wizard. No, you perish. I don't want to perish. You perish. Me. Me. Okay. Oh, we already have an Earthwalker. I'm just going to use a Thunder Snake to get this guy out of the way. Yes! No fizzles! Because then we kill him right away and then all we have to do is deal with Lady Black Hope. Okay, so I want to discard lightning strike because I don't need that and then I'll discard another one just in case we get a snake because then I can use a snake on her instead of a uh, that or lightning bats if lightning bats come up which they just have so let's use a lightning bat I remember this being a lot harder. Wow, okay. You have gained a treasure card. Yes, I know about treasure cards. Don't worry if your treasure card fizzles. Healer shoes, can return your spell deck where you blah, can blah, blah. Okay. Okay, we've won. Yay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna speed up because I'm gonna quickly defeat a skeletal pirate and lost soul and then go to Sergeant Mundu and so I'll be back then. Okay, talking to Sergeant Muldoon. So, you beat the ghost, did you? Very impressive. None of the guards were brave enough to face her. She was like With the old town time. secure, I feel better about letting you through to the other streets. But be careful, understand? Something's going on. This place is not as safe as it seems. I hear fearful rumors about a big nasty wraith named Lord Nightshade roaming around. My guess is that he's responsible for much of the trouble Wizard City now faces. Yay. Okay, so we can do on any of these because I've actually bought in the areas. Susie Griffin oh, Bane is down guy. on Triton Avenue asking for help. But we're spread thin with all the problems in Wizard City. I think her brother is lost or something like that. Can you help her out? Yes, I can. So, yes, we will be doing... Actually, Triton Avenue... Okay, I'll... Oh, actually, Triton Avenue is different looking. It got a huge graphical overhaul. So, that means we are doing it. We are looking at the differences. Mmm! Whoa. My goodness, this looks good. Oh my... I'm just in awe right now because this looks spectacular. Wow. Okay. Let's talk to Susie. So glad you came. I've been trying to get someone to help me, but the guards are far too busy with all the events of late. The headmaster sent you. Great! My brother and I can use the help. We are trying to stop all the undead that broke down the gate from the haunted cave and invaded the area. My brother Arthur went on ahead to check out the haunted cave. He had a theory that the force behind all this was in that cave. I'm worried because I've not heard from him for a while. Could you go see how my brother is doing? He should be just inside the haunted cave. Maybe he's identified the dark presence responsible for Wizard City's troubles. Yeah, 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 we're going, we're going. Also, here's another Smith. Triton, Triton Avenue Smith. Train never knew Smith. But yeah, wow. Wow. I'm just gonna accept this guy's quest too, because we need to do this. I sure am glad to see a fresh face. I've got a lot to do here, and it doesn't look like it's going to be easy. The undead have brought along crows that are spoiling our crops. We need to build some scarecrows to scare those crows away. First thing we will need is some cloth to make the scarecrow's bodies. The cloth can be collected off of Scarlet Screamers. Can you get some cloth for us? Yes, okay. I'm going to speed up time and defeat some rotting photos and some Scarlet Screamers and stuff. So I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, we're at the haunted cave. I did kill a couple rotting photos and well, we find one. A broken wand just inside the haunted cave. Talk to Susie Griffin. Okay, so we have to go back now, all that way. So I'm gonna defeat a couple scarlets on the way back. So yeah, I'll be back again. <laughs> Okay, so we're supposed to talk to Susie, but I'm Most talking to Blad. Excellent. These will do just fine. Just because he's here. Now I need you to gather some straw. I think I saw some field guards hiding out in the haunted cave. Go and collect some straw from them. Okay, definitely not going to do that just yet. Come to me. I am just outside the okay, dual cool. arena on Unicorn Way. 
Yeah, so now we need to go talk to the Susie Griffin Bane because we can tell her that her brother's whatever. Did you find him? This is his wand. Something must have happened to him. I'll bet he was right about the haunted cave as being the source of evil. Could you talk to Duncan Grimwater? He is a death student studying the events here, trying to piece together what is going on. He's a little snobbish, but he might have a clue as to my brother's whereabouts. Can you check with him, please? Yes, 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 yes. We'll go do that. Merle Ambrose sent another student to help out? I guess he thinks that Susie and her brother cannot handle this situation. Well, that's what happens when you send Storm students to do a death student's job. Whoa. Susie Stop. says that her brother is missing? Ha! I think he is hiding back at Ravenwood. But I'll check around and see what I can find out. In the meantime, I could use some help with my field studies. I need to find out the fighting tactics of the undead. Knowing how they fight may give me some insight into how we can defeat them. I would do it myself, but... Uh... I just ran out of treasure cards. It shouldn't be too hard. Just defeat some haunted minions and rotting fodders. Report back to me afterwards. Okay. So, I could have just left it, but instead we're, def we're defeating them. So yeah, I'll defeat two of each and then we'll be back with Duncan Grimwater. Okay, we're back, but I just want to do something. There's something. I want to apply that. Don't want those. That I want to apply because that's a sword. A hat, no. Um, want those because those are three defense. Um. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's talk to Duncan. You survived? I mean, that was fast. Those undead are not as tough as they seem, are they? So what did you learn? What? The undead were using storm magic? That doesn't make any sense. Where could they have learned that? Hmm. Maybe you could ask Susie what she might know about this. And tell her I'm still trying to find out what happened to her brother. Okay, let's talk to Susie. Susie, Susie. What? Duncan needs my help? Wow, that's a first. Duncan is right. You don't normally find the undead using storm magic. Someone must have put them up to this. But who? I have seen them wearing some kind of strange medallion. Battle some rotting mm. fodders and collect these. Then take them to Duncan. Maybe he will know why the undead have them. Okay. We're doing the same thing over again. What level am I? Level six. I think we're kind of close to getting a new, new-ish kind of thing, but okay, I'll get the four medallions and be back. Okay, that took a really, really, really long time. Finally got it you done, You collected though. these from the rotting fodders? Great! This will help me out! Where could the undead have gotten storm medallions? 
In order for me to investigate these medallions, I will need some Lumina Crystals. They store storm magic and will be affected by the medallion. To get some Lumina Crystals, you will need to go see Vlad Raveneye, the miller by the falls. He runs the storm mill that produces the Lumina Crystals. Okay, let's just go quickly talk to him. Go through here, grab that, and grab that, and go do, and you do, and doop a doop, and doop a doop a doop. You are here investigating these events with all the undead? Hoo-ha! It's about time something was done about them. They're scaring all the citizens away. You need some Lumina Crystals for your investigation? Why, I give you some, but my entire inventory was taken by the undead. If you can get over to the street and take back my barrels, I will gladly share them with you. Okay, so we need to search the barrels around town, and I'm pretty sure that they're on this, they're on both sides, yeah, okay. Okay, got him. I got into a fight. I don't uh, believe it. These Lumina crystals you brought me have been drained of magic. I'll bet those undead have a way of stealing the power from them. You'd better take this crystal back to Duncan. I'm okay. sure he'll want to see this. Okay. Going back to Duncan. He's not that far, so I'm not going to cut, but... Not that far. The undead are able to steal magic from the Lumina crystals? They are too dim-witted to know how to do this on their own. Someone must be helping them. We still need a charged Lumina Crystal to find the source of the Storm Medallion. Defeat Scarlet Screamers until you find a fully charged Lumina Crystal. Then return it to me so we can finish the investigation. Oh, I leveled up, so let's just... Oh, wonderful wizard. He's talking about us, about pets. It's time for an assignment. Please come pick it up at the school. Scarlet Screamer, assignment. Scarlet Screamer, assignment. Assignment. Because when we get a new spell, and if it's the frickin' change the, the whatever, oh my goodness. I also do want to change some stuff in my spell deck. I want to have less of these, actually, what, maybe one. Can I cancel, like, these? Yeah, only give me, like, here, we'll do this. Cancel that one. There. Give me, like, four. I don't need that many. Because I don't really have a lot of attack, it seems, when I fight. So I'm just going to change that, and then let's go talk to you. Okay. Yes, fishing, blah, blah, blah. Fishing, blah, 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 blah. What's up? What's up, dude? Okay, let's see, can we get another? No, the light. Okay. So, you want to do some research, huh? Great. Librarian Harold Ugliston needs a Leyden jar. He's been doing a lot of experiments lately. The task at hand is to build one. Go to Lady Oriole and get some copper for the lining. Okay, I'll be back. Gonna go get some copper lining from the Lady Oriole. Okay, we're almost there, but I'm just gonna say that there's the Unicorn Waysmith. Just so, in case you guys, like, don't know you probably do like I don't know why I'm really pointing that kind of stuff out because this game has been out so long that I'm pretty sure most of you know what's going on but just in case you don't that's whatever professor Halston Bailstrom needs some copper why sure I have some wish him good luck from me <sighs> okay hopefully we don't have to come back there because they didn't put a freaking waypoint down but Oh, why do you need copper wire for a glass thing? That's a little, that's a little weird. I'm not going to lie, that's a little weird. It's okay, Hailstrom. Excellent work. Now, let me line the jar with copper. Finished. Okay, now you'll need to talk to Torrance and fill it with rainwater. You should know what to do from there. Torrance and Ravenwood. I don't even know. Oh, Torrance's, yeah, Torrance's, yeah. Torrance is our tree. Ah, you are here to fill the jar with rainwater? Very well. We'll fill it up 
That should do it. We can now give the jar to Librarian Harold Argleston. Wish him good luck for me. Okay, so now we have a thing full of water. And we are going to the Librarian to give it to him. Okay. So... Going to him... Not gonna talk to you. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. What's up, Harold? This is excellent. Just what I need for my experiments. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. Uh, yeah, let's Upon do it. further examination of this laden jar, it could use a good charging. Could you take this outside the library and charge it? Okay. I'm thinking that this is still with the quest, so. You hear a hissing deep within the earth. <sighs> so, you need that charged? I can help you with this. Oh. Well then. Well then. Thank you, Mr. Snake. Okay. Harold, let's charge. That's Here's your perfect. Charge. Thanks. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. Okay, we have to go to Professor Bailstrom now. And he will hopefully give us another spell. Hopefully one that's useful. One that I can use instead of the charge the accuracy one even though the accuracy one isn't bad I've noticed that I fizzled with the accuracy more than when I haven't used the accuracy though just saying that's a little weird okay school is time so Harold Argleson like the Leyden jar oh that's excellent news but you ended up doing most of the work here is a little reward for you thank you yay oh yay Aww. Okay, we have to go all the way back to Triton Avenue, but I'll get us the there, so. Crap, that took forever. You got the crystal from the Scarlet Screamers? Great! Now we can figure out what's going on here, and especially who is behind this. Duncan waves his wand over the Lumina Crystal and the Storm Medallion. Magical electricity arcs from the medallion, and an image appears in the crystal. Of course! Go tell Susie Griffinbane that the undead on Triton Avenue are being led by the Harvest Lord, and that he has captured her brother. Hmm. That took way too long. Way longer than it should. My brother's been captured? We have to save him! Yay. Oh no, I'll bet that when Arthur was scouting the haunted cave, the undead kidnapped him. He's probably at the Harvest Lord's tower right now! Whoa. Please, if you defeat the Harvest Lord, you'll not only save my brother, but you may stop all of the haunting on the street. Okay, so now we have to defeat the Harvest Lord. Um, we also have to defeat a lot of field guards. Um, I'm actually probably going to leave this episode here, considering I've been recording for a while. Um, I hope you guys like this, the last two or three episodes, I don't know how many there are without me giving an outro. 
But next time we're going to defeat the Harvest Lord, I'm going to go do some off-camera stuff. As And by that I mean just refill my potion, potion up. But yeah, next time we're going to defeat the Harvest Lord and hopefully end Triton Avenue and stuff. And then start with either... I don't know if I want to do the Myth one or the Fire Cat Alley. I don't know. But if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Been, oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I